Hello everyone! Today we will be discussing the Golgi apparatus, also known as dictyosomes. Let's begin with a brief introduction. The Golgi apparatus is a collection of membrane and closed sacs, or cisternae, that are arranged in parallel formations like dinner plates. The Golgi apparatus has two distinct sides or faces. They are the cis side and the trans side. The cis side faces towards the endoplasmic reticulum, while the trans side faces towards the plasma membrane. Membranous vesicles bud off the rough endoplasmic reticulum containing newly synthesized proteins, and they fuse with the cistern on the cis side of the Golgi apparatus. These proteins are then passed via other vesicles to the middle cisterns, and finally to the cistern on the trans side, from which vesicles branch off into the cytoplasm. From the trans side of the Golgi apparatus, vesicles are detached and sent towards the lysosomes and cell membrane by exocytosis, and membrane proteins are recycled from the plasma membrane by endocytosis. Now let's look at some of the functions of the Golgi apparatus. These functions include maintenance of the plasma membrane by the fusion of vesicles containing a phospholipid bilayer to the cell surface, the synthesis of lysosomes and their loading with enzymes, the activation of hormones and other proteins, the packaging of substances destined for secretion and or intracellular organelles, such as lysosomes. Therefore, the Golgi apparatus is mainly responsible for sorting proteins, for example, writing addresses for their respective destination, and processing proteins. The Golgi apparatus is also responsible for post-translational modification of proteins by adding carbohydrate groups, i.e., glycosylation, and phosphate groups, or phosphorylation, to proteins. And lastly, the Golgi apparatuses are also responsible for exudition of mannose-6-phosphate, or M6P tags, to lysosomal enzyme precursors, which targets them for lysosomes. Now we will talk about its clinical link. The first major clinical link is eye cell disease. In eye cell disease, the process of post-translational modification is impaired. The Golgi apparatus is unable to tag proteins with M6P because of a deficiency of a phosphorylating enzyme. Lysosomal enzyme precursors are, therefore, secreted from the cell instead of being taken up by lysosomes, resulting in impaired lysosomal function. The characteristic pathologic finding is the presence of inclusion cells, or eye cells, within the cytoplasm. Death commonly results from cardiopulmonary complications as a result of inclusions in heart valves during childhood. Let's now investigate the steps of vesicular trafficking as well as the proteins involved in those steps. First, there is cargo selection, which involves a cargo receptor and an adapter protein. Then, there is vesicular budding. This step involves adapter proteins and coat 
proteins. Then, there is a fission from the donor membrane. This involves dynamin. After that, the vesicular coat dissociates. And after that, the vesicular targeting and transport occurs. This involves RAB GTPase and a tethering protein. The final step is the fusion with the target membrane, which involves both V-snare and T-snare. The proteins involved in vesicular budding and fusion are cargo receptors, which select and concentrate molecules to be transported in the vesicle, adapter proteins, which bind cargo receptors and coat proteins, coat proteins, which form protein scaffolds around the vesicle that facilitate vesicular budding, dynamin, which is GTPase involved in vesicular fission, RAB GTPase, which associates with the vesicle after the coat has dissociated, and it facilitates the transport of the vesicle to appropriate target membranes. It also locks the vesicle to target membranes by attaching tethering proteins. These tethering proteins are anchored in the target membrane. They attach RAB GTPase. They then move close to the target membrane for vesicular fusion. The V snares or vesicular snares and T snares or target membrane snares play a role in vesicular fusion. Now let's look at some of the coat proteins used in direct vesicle transport. The first is the COP1 protein. This is used in retrograde transportation of vesicles. For example, it is used in the retrograde trafficking within the Golgi apparatus and in the cis-Golgi transfer to the endoplasmic reticulum. The COP2 protein is the anterograde transportation of vesicles. For example, the transfer of the endoplasmic reticulum to the cis-Golgi. The third protein is clathrin. This is the formation of coated vesicles for transport within cells. For example, receptor-mediated endocytosis, the plasma membrane, goes to endosomes, i.e. mediated by LDL receptors. Note that clathrin plus adaptin-1 is the transfer of the trans-Golgi network to the lysosomes and clathrin plus adaptin-2 involves the plasma membrane to the endosomes, or endocytosis.